ready for launching the new U.S. aircraft carrier Wasp. Among those invited to attend the ceremony are sons of naval officers who went down fighting with the old Wasp off Guadalcanal. And the sponsor almost misses the boat. Now it's official. And the seventh warship in the history of the United States to bear the name Wasp slides down the ways to join the fleet. America's newest flat top will soon be in action against the Axis. The famous American scout car, known among United Nations armies as the Jeep, is tested by Australians over the toughest proving ground. The little motor car has four speed forward and sometimes has four wheels in the air, all at once. Here's where cameraman and driver have a narrow escape. Nobody hurt, but too close for comfort. American-made tanks found overseas. Embarkation port for armored juggernauts arriving from factories by the train load. Here, inspectors check and prepare the tanks for the climate in which they'll be used. With adhesive tape, every opening is sealed against the moisture of an ocean crossing. Expert women drivers give the tanks a final test before running them onto long flat cars which transport them to ships waiting in the harbor. Tanks bound for fronts wherever United Nations forces are fighting. In American shipyards, every day new keels are being laid to swell the tide of United Nations shipping. Workers have long since voluntarily changed from peacetime jobs to war jobs. Plants operate in three ships, hum at top speed into the night, around the clock, 24 hours a day. Red hot rivets burning through the blackest night write a message of defiance to the Axis. American workers are building the ships, and the ships are delivering the goods. 